really. I need my crochet. I'll get you can get it. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Right? Okay, so let's get on with it. In the bar or no, I'm sorry. In chapel. What do we got? Proverbs 27, 23. Are you not speaking? Tell us the Bible verse then. <laughs> Alright, what is it? Come on. Okay, come on, son. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds. Yep, and we chose that one today because we got something that happened in the barn stalls that kind of took us by surprise, right? Yep. All right, so let's move right on into it to in the barn stalls. Hmm. Um, what's going on? Um, Our feed should be here tomorrow, right? Yep. Our flock isn't looking as great as we want it to look, is it? No. You veined Bear, the big steer. Yep. And how's he doing? His mm -hmm. knot had gotten soft, so you started, started it draining, correct? Yes. And we didn't get it back out there today to check it because we had some other things going on. Right. So, anything else going on out in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have this going on. What is that? This is... Coop's Pills. Yes. And first off, let's just start by saying Coop is a horse. Her pills are normal size pills, but we have to give 11 every morning and every night. Why'd you do this? I don't know. I'm trying to be like you. You didn't even put it in the camera. If you're going to be like me, you got to do it like this. Okay. So, my RJ invitation didn't work. Anyway. So, why do we have to give her these? Tell us what happened. Because I went to a rodeo yesterday. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine was needing a mount. So, uh, and we mount other people. I mean, you took yep. her to the ACRA finals just for that. She yep. wasn't entered in. He was just there to mount people. Yep. Um, what so happened? He runs his calf and he comes back and he stopped and she started bleeding. She had hit something on the barrier, had hit her leg, like right here, and it busted the main artery that runs down her leg. There's a main artery that goes all the way down in their, on the inside. Yep, they're on the inside of their legs. And they right go. Line. They're on all, all their legs. Yes, all four legs have them. And you can see them. Um, but it hit right on that artery. If it had been a millimeter either way, wouldn't have hit her. Wouldn't have even known that it happened, right? Right. But explain what that did when it hit the main artery. What happened? Carl. She started uh, shooting blood. Wilbur, what hey. are you doing? I don't know. Go lay down. All We're right. Gonna do um, We're trying to tell a story here, guys. Okay, you quit messing with them. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to start this. Stop. Or I'm going to kennel you both. <laughs> Look at you sitting there all I sweet. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, so come on, tell us what happened with Coop. Uh, so she started bleeding. She started bleeding. Bit. You put your hand over it. Yeah, I put my hand over it and put pressure on it. And literally, and the horse and RJ were stuck right there, could not move. If he let loose, it gushed blood. Well, it was still bleeding anyway, correct? Yes. So. Um, so the flag guy started hollering for more help, correct? Yep. Come on, Carl, stop it and go lay down. And before too long, everybody there was there. Mm -hmm. So we got um, her all. One guy had the idea to try powder, yep. which it has cornstarch. It in. has cornstarch in it. His line of thinking is right. They a bunch of cowboys standing around with his hand over this artery, mm -hmm. and none of them had ever really given thought to what they would do or if it had ever happened. And you just they they started thinking, what can we do? What can we do? We got to get it to stop bleeding. Um, cornstarch powder has cornstarch in it. Cornstarch is a coagulant. Anybody who's made gravy knows it's a thickening agent. Every calf roper has powder, right? Yep. Put a whole bottle on her. Put a whole bottle on her. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. So, if you're wondering, it doesn't work. 
Okay, it makes sense, but it didn't work. It, it may work on a small cut, but not on yes, an artery. Yes, but not on an artery. Okay, so... Next we took... And they tried to vet wrap over it to see yep. if it would hold. It, it wouldn't. It just made it worse. Um, RJ literally had to grab it again and just hold pressure onto it. So, cowboys being cowboys, pack it with dirt. Mm -hmm. yep. They grabbed the dirt and started packing it in. And what happened? Uh, we packed it kind of started slowing down, didn't it? Packed it with dirt, vet wrap, and then we electrical taped over it. And that okay. worked. The vet wrap didn't hold it tight enough to, to maintain RJ's pressure. Yeah. And by then we had a makeshift tourniquet on it. Yep, they had taken her neck rope off and tied it around her shoulder to slow the bleeding down, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, um, one guy offered to bring his trailer in so you could just load it right there and just yep. load you, her, everything in and take you to the vet, right? Yep. Okay. But we ended up getting it where it kind of quit bleeding, so we just walked her out parking lot and put her in the truck and drove. And while all this was going on, there was other people on their phones looking for emergency vet services, correct? Yep. As RJ got her in the trailer, they were sending details to his phone. There was vets waiting for him when he got to the vet clinic that they all sent him to. Um, there was actually more than one, correct? Yep. They had everything set out. They had called him. He said, yes, I'm on my way. They were pretty amazing, correct? Mm -hmm. Everybody just fell right in line, did their part, and it worked out really well when it could have gone really wrong, correct? Yep. Um, just to be clear, she could have bled out right there in the arena where she stood, correct? Mm -hmm. So it, it's not, one lady made a remark that RJ looked like he had red gloves on going through there. Mm -hmm. So um, they couldn't stitch it. What did they do for it? Uh, Don't show it. You're eating, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You're eating cheese, peanut butter and crackers. Uh, they put a pressure bandage on it. so. And they recommended that we have not only blood stop, but she said a pressure, pressure bandage is something good to travel with when you're doing a horse, correct? Yep. Now, what... Is so important about this pressure bandage. Basically, it just doesn't have any give to it. When you wrap it tight, it stays. Mm -hmm. But why? The internal bleeding is what I'm getting at. Oh. Why do they not want? Because they're scared if it quit bleeding outside the skin, but the vein itself was still leaking, or artery, I don't know what it's called. But it's an artery. If it still was leaking, that the blood would just pool at her feet. So they put the pressure bandage from her foot all the way up into her shoulder so that way it was up above the cut and it, if it bled any inside the body it would absorb it back and it wouldn't leave a pocket yep because right. she could actually internally bleed out while it pulls at her hoof and we'd never see it correct right it wouldn't be visible all right um now let's back up because that happened on saturday yep what happened on wednesday Oh, Wilbur and Carl got fixed. Okay, so we took them in at 8. Yep. They were done at noon. They were done at noon. We got them home. They were all settled in. They were sound asleep. And I needed to go get feed. So I went and got feed. I was gone, what, 40 minutes? It's like 10 minutes in, 10 minutes out. And I spent maybe 20 minutes at the store waiting on this guy to load me. So I literally was gone maybe 40 minutes. I come back. And by 2.30, what had happened, son? They felt the need to remove their own stitches. Carl had removed all of his, and so now we have to um, keep looking, keep checking um, them. We called Doc. He said we had two options. We could bring them back, have them restitched up, put these cone things on their head. Or we could just deal with a scar and just let them heal, correct? Mm -hmm. Um. I told Doc that if anybody was looking at that part of our dog, he was probably being molested and a scar is not the first thing on his mind. <laughs> Correct? So, um, anything else happened in the barn stalls? There was a thing. The donkeys are moved up here, right? And they're doing good. All right. 
Anything else so we can get on to the other stuff? Come on. How do they all put those coins in their eyes? Okay, that's when people are dead. Oh, so I guess gravity doesn't. Uh, they're laying down. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. When I die, will somebody put coins over my eyes? Fine, I'll do that tonight. As long as you get through this podcast. Well, I'm not dying tonight. I'm just going to sleep. When I like die, die. You know, like when I'm in a coffin mm -hmm. and people are staring at me. Going, Fine, I'll put coins over your eyes. Okay. Um. Mending fences. Can you guys strain to one so you can make it move when people stare at me and be like, sure. he's coming back to life, he's coming back to life. Sure. Oh, cool. Um, what happens if you die before me? Then place? you're on your own. You'll have to come back to the ghost movie yourself. Um, that would be cool. All right, mending fences. What, do we, what did we fix? What did I have to clean out yesterday? I don't know. I didn't see any difference mm -hmm. when I got home. You're full of it. <laughs> Somebody hasn't been keeping the barn very clean. And all the feed sacks. We feed a lot of feed, okay, in my defense. There's a lot of them. Okay. Okay, but it's easier to take care of four bags a day than to have six months worth of bags in one stall. Well, what I was going to do, stick them all in one spot, get paid hot dogs and some marshmallows. Not inside the barn. Not in the barn. Not with those wooden stalls. Well, no. But if they stay outside, they'll blow away. So I had to wait until... You didn't even it. sack them up, dude. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to make a big pyramid out of them. And I have a burning pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not happening. Okay. Carl, Carl could be the king. Wilbur King will be the queen. Moving on. In the yarn farm, we have... Um, Elizabeth's bar. giveaway going on, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're here from her channel, welcome. If you are popping over to her channel, make sure you subscribe, right? Because we've got two small hand skin things of yarn. Yeah, we got three, but there's only two at Elizabeth's. That's what I'm going three for. Okay. Okay, there is three skeins of yarn. There's three days left on your giveaway. Oh, okay. <laughs> They'll be able to find out. How so old those, you really are. Yes, I know. So, there's three days left on our giveaway, which is a large skein. There's a child's book that includes a pattern. I just sign language. How old she is. Do it again. Don't hit me. <laughs> anyway. So, anybody who correctly guesses will be put in a drawing. Or if there's only one, you win it. So, there that, there's that, right? <laughs> Stop it. He's messing with Wilbur and teasing him. And Wilbur just keeps going, quit. It's all right, Wilbur. You had to work for that one. I'll give it to you. Hey, will you run up real quick and get, um, nope. yes, my crochet real quick. Time to switch. All right, please. Go. I'll protect your crackers. I'm going real quick. All right, come on. Son. I'm going real quick. I'm okay, sorry. do you want to get to bed on time? We're supposed to be going to bed early because RJ got in 5 o'clock, no, 4 o'clock Friday, no. He left here Friday night. He got here 4 o'clock Saturday morning, got two hours of sleep, ran up and did his uncle's chores, and left here again by 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. He slept in the truck. <laughs> Then Coop had her issue, and he got home last night at 1.30, got her settled in the barn, and... The needle was out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, got her settled in the barn, and uh, got to bed, and then we got about, what, six hours sleep before we had to get up and, and go out and check her and get stuff done around here, right, and uh, all that. So, anyway, all right. Also, oh, we didn't in the yarn farm or in the barn stalls. I don't know which one we, I think it's in the barn stalls. We don't want to talk about this. We're getting ready to have lambing season, correct? It should start we are. Mm, like next week. Nobody informed me of this. You're the one that bred them. Technically, I didn't do it. Last year, Fudgy went first and she went on Valentine's Day. I picked the convention this year. All right, folks. You only have two options. Alright? Just two hmm. options. That's all you get. 
That's not true. Movie titles? We're not doing mo- that. Not movie titles, like movie characters? We're not doing that. We're TV characters. That's it. That's no. all our only options. We've already decided. You're so full of yourself. Well, if you hadn't said nothing, all these people would have found God. I mean, no, when they're as old as you, you can't remember on, things. You can walk into a room and be like, what are we doing We've been talking here? about it on Facebook already. And this is the year of everyday heroes. Um, so, all you have to do is know the first name and last initial of your everyday hero. And a little blurb about why they're your hero. And it doesn't have to be anything, um, okay, it could be, I want to name one RJ because RJ is my son and he is the most awesome son, son ever. That's but, a joke. Yes, it is. That's pathetic. Um, but it could also be, that last part was so like, awesome, you could put Nana, um, you want to name one Nana because that's what you call your Nana. It doesn't have to be, it can be a... a a, uh, what do you call it? A nickname? It can be a name. Just something, and we can reuse them. So it'll be Christy S, Christy M, Christy J. It doesn't matter. Um, it, we're going to have sheep named after everyday heroes. And if you want a certificate sent to them, you'll have to cover the cost. We have some certificates that we're going to, uh, and a little letter. And we will mail it out to your everyday hero at a charge. Okay, unfortunately, I can't put the bill for every everyday hero and and 50 some and certificates and and stamp. Yeah, so you know it, it kind of That's builds up. That's the biggest zip ever. It hey, costs don't a stop. lot to mail a letter. I mailed three pages and two dollar bills the other day, and that was expensive. Got him going now. So anyway, you Stamps have to cover the cost. Outrageous. We're gonna put it on. Um, the square uh our store on the square and you'll be able to send your everyday hero a notification or if they're on facebook you can just tag them for free okay so um you can just do a little announcement uh, i mean a little blurb of who they are you can write a big thing about it we don't care it's all going to be published when they're named so however you address it and say i want to name this if we decide to use yours whatever you blurb about them will be in the blog and then um if you pay to have them send a certificate saying they were named a a lamb was named after them or a goat whichever um right so anyway i'm sure you get the gist we'll nail everything down concrete here in the next week Stamps or so. really are expensive. They keep going up. They went five whole cents this year. They went up five whole cents. Yeah. I normally don't carry that. I mean, pity. Anyway, okay, so. Um, I'm still on, on my stand. In the farmhouse. Right. I know, I know. In the farmhouse. What are you working on in the farmhouse? My stamps ran, okay? I got to no. take a breather and finish my cracker. Okay, so we'll move on from in the farmhouse because we all know how RJ's weekend went. He was always one out of the everything. So, just saying, for the weekend. All right, then I am working on virus. I'm working on my drink, too. Or Venus. I can't, it's virus. Meets granny square shawl or something like that. I don't even need the pattern anymore. So, um, I read it. There is... Just so that people know, um, I think I addressed this a little bit, and I've had somebody else ask me that's going to do this because we've publicly said I'm doing this and I'm showing it. And um, There are a couple of, it looks like somebody has copy and pasted part of the uh, pattern, and then in their edit, they didn't correct a few things. A couple of little typo th- type things, nothing that you can't decipher. Okay, just saying. It's not, we're all human. We all make mistakes. So, um, here is my shawl. I have finished, okay, down to, oh, help, son. The camera's going out. I can't show, I can't see where I'm pointing. Okay, hold this up. Right here is the end, stop, is the end of the first section. So you've got the virus, I think it's called virus, 
the virus section here, the granny square here, I've got the second virus done and I am working on, I just started my second row of the granny square for the second section. So, the yarn that I'm using is our yarn. It's the mohair um, wool, 70% mohair, 30% wool Demo. stuff. So, what? Can I see your hand? Just your hand. One, two, three, four. I declare that more. When? Ah, ah, ah. Let go. Let go. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, what's the matter with you? Ow, ow. <laughs> what is that was going to be funny. That hurt. Why did it oh. hurt? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I haven't clipped my nails. I haven't oh. been milking, so I haven't she clipped my me. nails. She stabbed me four <laughs> times. Stab you. Yes, she did. You drew blood. Look at this. It's bleeding. I haven't clipped my nails. I keep my nails clipped when I am milking. Always. This is bleeding, folks. It she is broke not. skin. Show, show it to them. Right there, see? All right. It is not bleeding. Right there. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It is not. There's right not. there. There's a little blood, drop of blood right there. It was coming out. <laughs> it's right there. Right there. There's a little bit. It is bit. not. It's all red and puffy. That's dirt. It is not dirt. It's a slit in my finger. She <laughs> cut me wide open with her fingernail. I need to trim them because they're not I'm even. I'm going open. to cry. They're, they're, I Goodbye. bring them all the time, too. They're not even <laughs> even. They're not anything. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, all right. So this I'm working on. Um, and just for those that are keeping track, I started a notebook on the. Oh, we forgot in the fields. I'm in the middle. I'm busy. I'm gonna get a cry. I have to have my daily cry. Daily? You cry daily? You cry daily? No, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I just made it up. I want to start crying daily because it feels so good. Anyway. I'm going to take a daily cry. We didn't do anything about in the fields. Um, I did start, and I'm going to start, I started February 1st because it's the month of my birthday. And I am going to track what I do for me, what I do for fiber, how far we get on the tiny house, and improvements to the farm that we get done. Some days there will be nothing in some of those to report. Some days there will be some. I just want to know that I'm getting something done. Does that make sense? And yet taking time for me. So, which is what I normally don't do. This weekend, I decided I was going to stay at home and do me a little spa day for my birthday. I mean, I had a little facial, you know, a little avocado facial going on. I took a hot bath. I got this wonderful stuff for Christmas. And it's uh, like a bath bomb minty stuff. I took me a bath in it and I soaked and I shaved my leg. And I was listening to the radio. I just was relaxed. Facial. Um, I didn't hide my roots, but I thought about it. Uh, what else did I do? Um, just little stuff like that for me. Okay, I shaved into my arms. Something, you know. Making myself pretty. How long did that last, son? Oh, my eyes. My eyes. Uh-huh. What was I doing when you, uh, when I got a hold of you at, what, 5.30? I don't know. I didn't know that. What attention. were you doing at 5.30? I just got back from the vet. I got the call that he had just gotten back from the vet, so I went out to the barn and spent four hours cleaning the barn. So, with my nice open pores. When I say back. Okay. <laughs> you mean back to the roping? Yes, back to the roping from the vet. So, my nice steamed pores and all that, and my hair was done, oh, I and get my it was picture. washed, and, oh, yeah, it's over there in the frame. I'd washed and conditioned it and done it, kind of, sort of. I hadn't curled it, but I had spritzed it, and it actually looked good. I felt good about myself. Didn't have my glasses on, had my contacts in. Yeah. Nearly killed me. But my contacts were super dry by the time I got out of the barn because of all the dust and stuff. But I pretty much had a spa day that lasted three hours. <laughs> I got a picture from the radio. He did. Make sure it's not glaring. 
There you go. Now. Whose horse is that? Because that's that not That is... Poop. The guy right there. His horse. Go His on. name is Glenn. Yep. And he was nice enough. RJ called him and said, look. They said if I make it back, I can run my cat. He said he'll be said, in the arena. He'll be standing in the arena ready for you when you're ready. And RJ literally, they pulled up. He got out of the truck and jogged in. Mounted that horse in the middle of the arena and backed in the box. Um, they were ready to turn his calf out. They said he couldn't make it back. Um, but he did, didn't yep. you? That picture was taken a short round, though. Mm hmm So. Anyway, we're off track. We're all over the place. So, anything else? I think you'll do this. Like. Okay, nobody does that with a card. Oh. That explains because it hurts. Mm-hmm. Um, I did help last week at the church. What did I do at the church? I don't know. I wasn't there. Why did you ask me questions about things when I'm not there? I barely know what's going on when I I'm somewhere. I told you what I did. They oh, have a... Oh, that! Oh, I know what she did. They have a youth... She went to the church. All right, folks. Let me tell a story. I can tell a story. I remember. I remember. Okay. She went to the church. All right. She pulls up in her pick-em-up truck. Drives it down. Turns it Come off. Come on. People are trying to get to the end of this. <laughs> Just fast forward about five minutes and get back to watching. <laughs> don't tell them that. We need all the watch time we can get. <laughs> you don't drag it out five minutes. Okay, so I have to So go get church. your drinks have right a... now. Go get your drinks and snacks. You have a five minute That's intermission. Enough. All right. Hang on, hang on. Here, I'm going to have a... She gets eight. to the church. She goes in. And she, when she goes inside... There was kids. There was kids. In she city helped. at risk youth. Okay, you can elaborate, but. They feed them, and then they teach them a little lesson, and they sing some songs, and they have snacks, and then they're bussed back to their house. She goes inside. She helps all the little kids. Then she leaves, and she gets back in her pickup truck, and she. Oh, turns it off, gets out. Walks in the house. I say, guess what I did? I did? And she tells me about it. And you can tell about how well I listen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it was pretty cool. I like the program. I believe in it. So I think I'm going to keep going and helping on Wednesdays. So anyway, anything else we have going around here? Doug, baby, you're 1099. Yeah. Dog's eight is ten ninety nine. He's got to get a new one. I don't think the IRS printed. is gonna like that. We have pieces. I kind of just want to tape, tape it back together better. and take it into the tax man. I kind of want to do that. Take it in there and be like, hey, here's my ten ninety nine. It had a little accident. <laughs> it ran into a couple of pups. Mm-hmm. Which names we will not name, but one starts with a W and one starts with a C. Mm -mm. One starts with a C and one starts with a W. Right. <laughs> it's Carl and Wilbur, not Wilbur and Carl. The D-O-G got it. Yep. All right, so we're going to get off here. I've got some laundry going. Um, it's just been a really weird week. We did make a video, so there'll be um, that one already posted. This one will post hopefully by tomorrow, which will be Monday, so we're kind of getting back on track. Right? But we just had a lot going on, and lambing season is going to start, so start getting your names ready. Um, RJ, are you going to post blog post about that to try and remind everybody? Uh, I reckon. Yep. All right. We will see y'all later. There's a hole in my cup, dear Elijah, dear Elijah. There's a hole in my cup, dear Elijah, dear Elijah. So fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. So fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry. Fix it. Hmm, I'm working on it. There's no super glue for this. I need some duct tape, folks. I need some duct tape. Hey, you said we need all the watch time we can get. 